Just at time again, the soft trickle of the rain on the roof is calling out to us, and we're here to answer with another edition of Rainy Night Records. I'm Hutch Knightley, and I'll be your host as we put another record on the turntable and turn down from the stress of the day. Blood Moons is a three-piece indie rock outfit whose shoegazing soundscapes inspire introspective ethereality. Their studio tracks echo deep thought seemingly into a space of eternity, and their live performances manage to mirror that nuance with renewed intensity and care. They joined us here at Rainy Night Records to lay down a limited edition pressing, this time with a unique yet welcome edition of a banjo for this dreamy demonstration of their celestial style. Now we get to drop the needle on Haphazard by Blood Moons. start with, I uh, asked the band 
to uh, agree on a record. First one I see <laughs> is Dark Side. Oh, hell yeah. So we are here with Bobby and Matt from Blood Moons and Matt's cousin Chris. Do we have an hour? No. Um, <laughs> Matt and I first met up. We started doing open mics together. Angelo. I, at the time, was working at Panera Bread. <laughs> From Panera Bread you came. So he started working there, and eventually he came in on one of our jams. I remember after the practice, we were sitting out outside, and he was like, so this is what you guys do? That's it? <laughs> and we were like, yeah, yeah, this is pretty much it. Yeah. We, we played a bunch of shows together. You, they played at uh, our album release party. Basically, whenever we play a show, we're like, hey, you got, can you guys play? The band again is uh, St. Fody and the Cult for Tax Purposes. We just released an EP, it's called Something for Nothing. We recorded it all ourselves. Our band camp is band camp slash Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I got two answers. A lot of gigs being cover gigs. Around here, it's really hard. You got to do just DIY stuff. We kind of stopped working with our original guy because he was like, he's big on cover bands. He makes a lot of money doing that, right. which is great. But that's not what we do. Yeah. You know, we write our own music. So we really kind of like had to decide at that point, like, what do we actually want? Do we want to do cover shows for like yeah. three hours of playing other people's songs? Yeah. Or do we want to just like write our own music and we decided as a group but covid <laughs> right i would say that's one of the biggest adversities now because everything changed right you know um bookers changed yeah. bands changed bands broke up you know and just now it's kind of starting to reopen but having it still looming yeah you know and bills change things like that so uh, that's the big challenge now going forward Probably the best stuff we write always ends up being something where we caught magic. We're never really like that intentional with what we write. We kind of just let it happen. I, I just try to go to the flow, you yeah. know? Go to the flow. Yeah. We have a playlist on Spotify called Steal This. We're not stealing. Right. Okay, just for the record, we're not actually stealing, but like we hear something that yeah. we love, we put it on the, on the, on the mix and we're right. like, wow, how do we work with that? You can't afford a giant studio, right? Like, you can't afford to go and work with the Sony record labels. Right. There's a lot of positives to kind of being able to get dirty with it. Dirty? Control is good and bad. You get so caught up in like, you know, oh my God, is this gonna hit? How can I just showcase us? the best way possible Absolutely. you know you go online and, and there's people going oh well this is what you have to do to get your million <laughs> followers and right. you know so, if you just follow this step-by-step -step thing and just post every single day and it, who are you yeah. and what yeah. works for you as an artist yeah at the end of the day you you think you want to get it all in those professional things somebody could hear you from australia yep and be like this is sick regardless of how yep. you know what a record label might say. She's been in touch with your ghost. Like a cheap fabric, barely sewn. I found a new chemical. The highest source is unknown. I'll show you a video. It will not send if you go. I bought a new telephone. The number you have is old. This vine will now cease to grow. So now you, so now you know. It's gonna keep happening. Better get used to it. It's not as much your fault as you may think. That sound of the dragging needle means we've reached the end of our album for tonight. We want to thank you, as always, for tuning in to Rainy Night Records. Once again, I'm Hutch Knightley. Keep watching the weather, and we'll catch you on the B-side. W-R-R, Rainy Night.